Hello everyone, so let's do the other lab. We can say let's continue the series. In our previous class what we told we will take the router. Already we configured the interface in the router as we discussed as per our previous class. Now what we told we are going to assign the IP from the different subnet and we are going to check it is working or not. Then we are going to use to make the communication between the different network. So let me zoom in. If you see this is our topology. Okay, this is our topology and if you remember this IP we assigned to this side. Let me paste here. This side we use this IP. I hope you remember you watch our previous class and this IP we already assigned to the router which interface this interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1. Okay, this is the IP we assigned to fast Ethernet 0 by 0. This is the IP we assigned to fast Ethernet 0 by 1. How we assign means we assign with the help of console cable. Okay, we use the console cable to assign the IP. So it is working perfectly. Uh, but uh, without with router, we are going to test and we are going to face some issue and then to overcome that one, we are going to use the router. So what I will do, I will remove this cable. And I will connect this here. Okay, I connected this cable here and let me cut this cable here. So if you see this is our LAN network, you can say this is the LAN network. You have one switch in the left hand side here. We have one switch. Let me put some color here. Just I am putting some color just to differentiate. I have one switch here. Two PCs are connected here and let me select the another color here. If you see here, I taken the another color I put here. So now what we can say, this is one switch, switch one we are calling. This is another switch we are calling switch two. And here we are going to use the network 192.168.1.1. Here we are going to use the network 192.168.2.1. These two network we are going to use. And what we are going to do here, we are going to assign the IP to the machine. Already we learn how to assign the IP address to the computer in our previous class. In case if you miss, try to watch that video. Because this series is going to become very big, in this one we are going to do lot of labs. So let me assign the IP here. So what I will do, first of all we will put the label here. So label is nothing but just whatever IP we are assigning, I will put that IP here. So by seeing this we know what IP we assign to computer. Okay, so here I am getting the duplicate because we already assigned here. So what I will do now this one we are not using this one. So let me cut here. Okay, I will remove from here because not we are not using this. Okay, or I think we are using no why we are not using I will put a here. I will put the IP 1.2 here. You will get the error here also again because still I did not remove here. So let me remove the IP from here also. So let me cut and I will put here some name here. So now we can assign even without assigning it will work but I want to assign here. So by seeing that one you know what IP is present to what computer. So I will go to this computer. I will go to the desktop. I will go to the IP. Then you will paste here the IP and click here by default the information will come here. Okay, same thing you will go here, you will put here, you need to give the IP like 192.168.1.3, you will put 1.3, you will copy this one, you will go to the computer, desktop and IP config, I will paste here. I am not putting any default gateway, anything later we will see that one. Just I will assign the IP to this two machine with the subnet 192.168.1.1. Here I am going to assign the IP address with the different network 192.168.2.2. So here I will assign the IP like 192.168.2.2 this is the label now I will go to the computer I am going to assign here let me assign here okay same thing I will do for this computer they are in the different subnet anyhow they are not going to work because we already know different subnet cannot communicate if we want to make the communication between the different subnet then what we need to do we need to do the routing we need to use the router okay so here we assign the ip address to the machine now we can test so i will go to the pc one this one 192.168.1.2 we are calling this one as a pc one 
and I'm going to test with the other network PC. So I will write ping and this IP I will write 192.168.2.2. Okay, so when I ping with this IP, this computer is sending the ping request, but it will not work as they are in the different subnet. If you see, you are getting the request time out here. Okay, you are getting request time out here and it is not working. So this is okay. Uh, already we know this will not work anyhow we tested it is not working so if you want we can test with this IP also same thing it will not work different subnet will not work so now I am pinging this IP from this computer it will not work so what else we can do if you want I can ping from this PC 192.168.1.2 to 1.3 it will work because they are in the same subnet so let's see here let's test this one what I will do now 192.168.1.3 and you can see same subnet is working different subnet is not working so what we can do we can easily use the router we can use the router with the help of router we can make the communication between the different network with the help of router so let me do this way if you see ping and here I will put dash T I will put this one this is a computer from here I am pinging to this computer and you will have request timeout because they are in the different subnet it will not work so I will keep like this this one only it will work like this and we need to wait and check it is not working now what I will do I will take this cable okay I will sorry I will take this cable I will connect here F0 by 0 right because we need to check which IP we assign to which port F0 by 0 so I will take F0 by 0 here I need another cable I will take this one and I need to put here F0 by 1 okay I assign here already we configured the interface STP is working here this umbert color is ST STP spanning tree protocol if you see here if you see this one this is the STP STP is working it will take 30 to 50 second to move the port from listening learning and forwarding so it will take some time after that this will become green and the traffic will go from here to here so here if you see this become green it still it this did not become green and now it become green so now traffic should go like this okay and it should come back like this then you will have the reply but still it is not working so we need to wait for some time and we need to figure out why it is not working you need to figure out this one why it is not working if you see here why it is not working this computer is going here he is not check, uh, not finding in this one but this computer don't know anything about the gateway so we need to assign the gateway we need to tell the computer if you cannot find the network or the destination inside area inside our area you need to go out and this is the gateway use this gateway and go out so if we did not give the gateway it will not go out so if you see here I did not assign the gateway here let me go here and you can see here we did not configure the gateway then it will not work you need to assign the gateway gateway is nothing but router interface IP which is connected to us so this IP we need to assign here this is a gateway so I need to write 192.168.1.1 okay this is a gateway I assign here still it will not work because you need to have the gateway here also I did not assign the gateway here so what I will do I will go here I will assign the gateway this is the gateway if you see this two computer gateway is this one different network 192.168.2.1 so I need to write here 192.168.2.1 okay I assign the gateway now so this should start working this computer is having gateway this computer is having the gateway they are talking to each other so this guy will send the packet it will look here in the network they cannot find then they know the gate so they will go out and they will go like this and they will go here and this guy also know the gateway so he will reply and it will come to the gate and he will go out and he will come here that's why if you see reply is coming back okay before reply is not coming back so what we learn here how to make the communication between different network 
and then we have the important of gateway if we forget the gateway writing in the machine it will not work you need to write the gateway gateway is important for us okay in the real scenario also you need to put the gateway sometime the what we can say the clients the user they play with the ip address they do something wrong and they are saying my internet is not working my computer is not able to access the server and they will open the ticket so you need to check sometime we will see the guys are removing the gateway by mistake unknowingly unknowingly they are removing the gateway because they are not familiar with gateway and ip address they are working in hr finance and uh, sales marketing they don't know anything about the networking they don't know what is ip address they don't know what is uh, switch what is router what is gateway just they know the uh, application whatever application they are using they will work only on that application that's all so when you are doing the troubleshooting you need to make sure you can check the gateway and the ip whatever we have subnet mask everything is assigned correctly generally in the company we are getting everything with the dscp server if by mistake customer go there and they disable the dscp server option in the computer maybe they will not get the ip so when we do the troubleshooting in that one i am going to teach you that also but now just remember if you don't have the gateway if you don't have the ip if you have the incorrect ip incorrect gateway you will have the issue to make the communication okay so in this class we learn how to make the communication between different network so let's meet in our next class i will save this lab i will use the same lab to teach you and join our telegram channel already we are sharing this lab of everything whatever we are doing all the configuration so you can download from there and make the practice you do the practice in case if you struck anywhere write in the comments of this video okay so let me end the class thank you bye